Good morning, folks. How about the ESO snagging the top spot in the news two days in a row? This is the product of their work to identify exoplanets around other stars, and they have just caught triplets orbiting a solar twin, a star that very much resembles our own. The full video, images, and of course the article are linked for you below in the About tab below this video. Mount Sinabung, we're continuing to erupt there. It's covered locals in five inches of ash, 26,000 people are now leaving their homes, and the pets and people without masks are beginning to suffer. In all likelihood, this mountain's not done yet. State of the Climate Report is out, and as we discussed, it's a double. First, the month of December. In the U.S., it was a mixed bag of climate extremes. By any real standard, the nation had below average temperatures last month, with the exception being the southeast, which has taken its licks with that killer cold already in early January. It was a mix of wet and dry last month. Now the double is that this also gives the annual report as 2013 is now done. As you can see from the map, we were indeed all over the place. Floods, cold, drought, heat in Alaska. Supporting the extremes idea is a very wet east, eyeing the driest year in California on record. It's also pretty warm out there and skews the national average with the majority of states at or below average temperature for the entire year of 2013. Let's do the dailies. Tropical development potential down under is no joke. We have two powerful systems that don't yet carry names but which are proof of the potential and dropping a significant amount of rainfall in their respective areas. Tropical Rainfall Measurement Mission does an excellent job capturing that rainfall as it comes down and as an accumulation over time. Low in Eastern Europe, another in Russia that are becoming cloud and snow events with a stronger low just offshore still. Taking its time to crest, you can see the convergence as it knuckles in here. Looking to the Americas, solid low in the northern states will take a few hundred mile radius in every direction and drop snow as it shuffles east today. There's also still this pattern flow out west where the moisture is funneled onto the Canadian coastline like that. At the end of the video we'll show the upper atmosphere playing with the direction of the lows like this one here. Looking at the solar wind, speed is back near 400 kilometers per second with density staying low and steady as nice and calm a curves as you can see on the sensitive metrics. The calmer it becomes, the easier it will be to discern the impact that we all expect to see sometime tomorrow will be minor. Solar flaring not giving us anything to get excited about. The departing groups took a poison pill last night and are falling apart, so I'm focused solely on the incomers. Coronal hole incoming as well. Maintaining a significant power as you see on Iswa. It is dark, spanning a significant area and turning in from the left up top there. Quake condition index dipped into sea range yesterday, but it will rise again as this coronal hole faces Earth. The uptick may be starting already after a near six pointer hit the Aleutian Islands. California with three above average in as many days, and now the North Pole getting in the mix as well up near Greenland. Shots of the wind map and our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.35 a.m. Eastern time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.